Hello and welcome to the Big Wobble. A couple of days ago, NASA released a wonderful video in Ultra HD. A link is provided for the whole video below this one. It shows cloud and weather patterns on our planet and also ocean currents. But much to my amazement, NASA showed an animation of every major ocean current except the one on everybody's lips at the moment the North Pacific Ocean Current called the Kurosio Current which flows in a huge circle from Japan to the west coast of the US and then back again the Fukushima stricken power plant and its leaking of cesium-137 into the Pacific and its subsequent trip along the Corosio current to the US was I thought highly conspicuous by its absence in the video. Why on earth would NASA show every major ocean current on the planet except the one in the North Pacific. It doesn't make sense, unless they did it on purpose. Only yesterday an email came to me claiming honeybees were spreading cesium-137 around the Scottish countryside from an old power plant which has been closed for years with a quote from a nuclear expert claiming this should not be happening. Now, if the little honeybee can spread radioactivity from an old closed nuclear plant, just what can the enormous power of the Pacific Ocean currents do when tons of cesium-137 is leaking into the sea? For instance, here are a few examples of what is really happening at Fukushima. In February this year, experts detected a fresh leak of contaminated water into the sea. A month later, in March, 750 tonnes of contaminated water leaked into the sea. In May, thousands of gallons of contaminated water also leaked into the sea. Uh, these three um, examples, of course, are just this year. Cesium-137 has also been reported in various food products imported from Japan. And, of course, 32 million people alone have been affected by Fukushima in Japan. And, of course, the whole point of this post, Cesium-137, being found along the west coast of North America from Mexico to Alaska where an extraordinary amount of whales, seals, sea otters, walrus, dolphin, birds, fish, mussels and starfish are dying in catastrophic numbers with every expert singing from the same hymn sheet and claiming they don't know what's killing the marine life. The video film from NASA is indeed beautiful and informative. But is it also another attempt by NASA to deviously cover up controversial topics as they are indeed renowned for? I can't think of any other reason for leaving out the North Pacific Ocean Current animation. Can you? And if NASA has all this wonderful technology at their fingertips, which at the end of the day, this is what the video is promoting, well then, how can they not know what's happening in the Pacific?